A very good morning to you. Welcome back. You're now on the Entrepreneur Spotlight. I'm Tenda Chimelio, and today we have with us a returning guest from Lognetics. We have Mr. Light E. Hesilo of Lognetics Limited. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the weekend show. Thank you very much. I'm always glad to have you back on the show because <laughs> we have so many interesting conversations about tech, AI, and all the rest. You know, tech is the new gold, like they yeah. say. So um, for our viewers who are meeting you for the first time, can you tell us again about Lognetics Limited and all it entails? Okay, um, basically, um, Lognetics, at Lognetics, we are an AI-focused um, branding and software agency. All we basically do is that we provide branding and software services to um, organizations and also individuals. So um, it's just um, with the trends right now in artificial intelligence, our company decided to be part of the first organizations in Africa and also in Nigeria to start building AI smart systems. And um, for the time being, it has really been quite exciting because the trends in artificial intelligence has I just caught the word by, not necessarily by surprise because it's been there for since inception, but of course, um, getting into this space has been very exciting. And also the kind of reputation we've been able to build for our clientele and also the kind of people we work for. Um, it's, it's just been an amazing ride in Lognetics, knowing that we are um, a tech organization and also we've been able to build um, tech systems and products that has also helped humanity. Interesting. Now, um, I know there's, a, there's an event coming up soon. We'll be talking about that much later. But what, what um, latest projects from Lognetics can you share with us? What is one of the exciting projects you're currently working on? OK, um, some of the exciting projects. Uh, we'll be launching some of those uh, products at, um, at Explore. Uh, but um, of recent, we've really partnered with um, most of our clients to build really amazing uh, products for them. And they've, they've been from different aspect of technology, cutting through the fintech and other products as well. Uh, but internally in Lognetics, we worked on different chat systems, that's AI systems, and also um, some um, machine learning sy systems as well. So we've actually worked on certain products um, internally. And um, I don't want to give like so much spoiler on most of those products. And uh, the day of the event, we'll review most of those. Interesting. Yeah. So now the last time you were here, we were almost having a debate <laughs> on, on the pros and cons of artificial intelligence. You know, and you were trying so hard to make us see the bright side. I myself personally, I have a kind of love-hate relationship with artificial intelligence because, and um, personally, I've seen a lot of dystopian movies that are kind of prophetic about artificial intelligence becoming self-aware and then turning on mankind, you know, and causing a lot of destruction. And then um, there's also the part about companies downsizing due to norm the, the, the global um, inflations and everything, and then they're, they're replacing humans with artificial intelligence, robots, and software. So people are losing jobs. And uh, you also try to make us see that some people are, are, are also gaining jobs due to AI. But I think the, the ratio is a little bit um, disadvantaged you know, to others, especially people who are less um, tech savvy and um, computer literate. And then there's, there's the lack of privacy that comes with you know, giving all these softwares and applications access to your phones, your computers, and all that. So, so generally, what, what is your opinion? Has, has anything changed, or is there any new update that you have for us concerning that? Um, awesome. So the last time I spoke about disruption, and um, I spoke about um, the trends in new technology, and every single time that most of these new technologies come in, there's always um, a level of value that it brings to the society. And um, it sounded as though I was in support of um, maybe robotics and also the mm -hmm. AI space. But the interesting thing is this, for every single time that um, a product is built, um, one major thing that founders of organizations that stand the test of time do is that they make sure that every single product that they work on or they build or bring into existence always end up standing the test of time. Anything that's going to stand the test of time definitely has to be something that provides value, right? And uh, for AI especially, the, what we know about artificial intelligence, that um, artificial subject matter that has an intelligent um, 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 ability, that it can think almost like a human and also help solve a lot of problems. Um, as of yesterday, I was actually at a webinar where I was speaking about AI still, and there was one very striking statement I, I made, and it was about the trends in AI and how most current AI systems currently are even way smarter than humans, mm -hmm. you know? You can actually be interacting with a chat system right now and then the chat system gives you so much accuracy that a friend of yours might never 
give you. There are certain times when you'll be interacting with um, some, some maybe, of course, we, all of us know about ChatGTP and most of these um, chat-based systems. If you ask them certain kind of questions, they give you some kind of answers that may take you a lot of time to find even when you're making research on Google. Now, what's that, what happens is, is that most of these chat systems are trained just like how humans are trained. That's but right. the thing is that they capture information and process this data based on the kind of um, data that is sent to them, right? That's, let's, let's, let's give an instance. Uh, we know about the trends right now in, um, in one of these uh, very prominent AI systems where um, you can just speak to a computer and it captures your voice. And for the subsequent statements that will be made, what will happen is that it sounds almost like voice. you or even exactly like you. Now the trends in AI is becoming, I, I know that there's a lot of, um, disadvantages mm -hmm. to it because um, you can impersonate people, mm -hmm. you can, there are so many things, but um, I, to me, I feel like um, the advantages actually are, outweighs the disadvantages. As, as <laughs> a tech bro, I expect you to be biased, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, I, I've actually, okay, let me, let me give this instance. I remember when the trends in AI became so rampant in Nigeria, especially. I remember my company at the point having like a downtime and um, not necessarily 100% downtime, but yeah. AI actually replaced a lot of people in the office. Mm -hmm. But moving forward, we realized that we needed to hire people that can actually use these AI systems. And right now, there's a lot of people right now that make majority of their life, their living and everything based on how well they can use certain AI systems. I made an example of certain design software. I also made an example of um, certain chat systems, of course, facial recognition systems right now that you can. I think there was this particular um, system that came up and people were just putting in their pictures. You upload up to 10 pictures and then it provides an Hundreds AI character of, yeah. of yourself, like a lot of it. I, I remember viewing multiple people's status and they already monetized it. It was free, but people were making out a lot of money from it. Even writing content right now, you use chat-based system, you develop content, modify those contents, and you make money from it. Even just, you can put in your design idea, even if you want to write a pitch right now, you can just put in your pitch idea an AI system will develop a complete um, pitch for you. But the thing is this, founders of organizations are so busy working on innovative ideas and also trying to see how their organizations can stand the test of time, they might not always have the ability and that flexibility to sit down on their systems or maybe work on most of these projects. This is, where, this is basically where they need human intervention to come into play and help them to modify most of the system using already existing AI systems. I don't know if you understand. So mm -hmm. I, I still stand on my ground that AI is... <laughs> I, 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 was, really I wasn't expecting any less. <laughs> <laughs> so this is impressive and, and a bit scary at the same time. Now, speaking of um, sustainability and longevity, uh, where do you see artificial intelligence in terms of innovation and coexistence with humans in the next, say, 10 to 15 years? Okay. Um, to me, uh, I, was, I sat down, I think abstractly. Yes, <laughs> I have a lot of really, really wet thoughts. And uh, for the future of artificial intelligence, I actually see a future where every single person can have their own um, AI system. Mm. I'm not saying everybody will have their <laughs> own robot, but <laughs> I'm just saying that a lot of people will have their own AI system. This is basically what I mean. Imagine you have a human companion that feels like you. Let's just say, for example, your shadow. Your shadow doesn't talk, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Imagine a shadow of you a direct replica of you that can help you solve problems instantly. And it's going to become very easy for humans. I'm not talking about the present, I'm mm -hmm. talking about the future. Okay. These are things that will possibly be happening. And it's, I'm not saying that it's taking over human thinking ability, because of course it's humans that are already thinking about most of these things mm -hmm. and they are bringing it into view. But the flexibility, right, there are a lot of APIs out there that you just really need to plug into your already existing product and it fetches all the information that you possibly need. Mm -hmm. Now in the future, I'm actually seeing every single person having their own AI ability, just like how everybody have their own mind. I'm just thinking, you know? <laughs> Mr. Light, don't you think at some point AI is going to become like self-aware and, and turn on, on mankind? Okay. That, that fear is always there because this is humans trying to build an intelligence system that works more efficiently than us. So what do you think in, in the future, if AI becomes self-aware and decides to like enslave or turn against mankind, don't you see that possibility happening? Okay, I, I saw, I saw, I forgot the company, but it's actually a very prominent organization. They released them a publication recently and they say that um, humans will become the pets of robots mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility. But, yeah, there's, 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 
I want to say there's no possibility from the looks <laughs> on your face. <laughs> but we, we build most of these things. It's just like, let me, let me give an instance. Um, there's a very clear distinction between artificial beings and natural beings. You can control artificial beings based on the kind of information you give to them. Mm -hmm. But now you're smarter than those beings. It's just that you're feeding them with more information than your brain can carry, right? The, the higher the level of information you feed these artificial beings, the more prominent or the more, the more, the more sovereign mm -hmm. or the more supreme they become, mm -hmm. right? Everything is good to just rely solely on the kind of data. But well, it's almost we like we're feeding them unlimited data now. They're plugged into the internet, they have access to all our data, our privacies, our phone cameras, microphones and all that. So it's almost like they're having infinite supply of data. So I see, anyway, I, I'm, I'm not expecting you to agree with me because I know you will never. <laughs> no, they, they, they have a lot of information. So. <laughs> I know I'm going to argue on this topic tomorrow because you, you will never agree with me. But before I let you go, um, I heard there's an event coming up, yeah. Explore Events coming up very soon. So can you give us two more lights on that for us? Okay, um, I'm really passionate about tech and um, I'm just really excited about the tech community. And I remember when I started off um, Lognetics, it really wasn't an easy ride, but we really pushed so hard to get to the point where we are today. And um, I, I love it when I see young people, just like myself, striving very well to build a sustainable value system for themselves and also for the economy. And Explore is actually built for leading startups, scale-ups, and tech enthusiasts around the nations of the world who are creating the next wave or the next revolution in tech. Now, what, what we basically use Explore to do is that we bring in industry experts. Um, there's going to be uh, provocative um, touch sharing, idea dissemination, and most of these things on stage. Um, this is just giving people that flexibility to be able to capture as much information as possible and also know and, and, know and understand the trends in technology and how they can actually use technology for their own personal lives. And um, for, for Explore, we're actually having conversations revolving around the blockchain space, the Web3 space, um, trends in AI, um, the future trends in robotics, and also, like, of course, trends is, in... Is it an online event? It's actually a physical, it's a physical event. It's happening at NAF Conference Center on the 30th. It's actually supposed to be one of the largest gathering of tech talents in Nigeria currently. We've put in a lot of work into it. It's happening this month on the 30th of November. There's going to be really amazing prizes. Uh, there will be pitch competitions. We're giving out uh, close to 10 million naira on stage that day. Wow. Yeah. For innovative ideas, we're giving out five thousand dollars to one of the smartest, of, maybe a company that can build um, the next AI system that will support you at home. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so we are willing so to much. give that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Light, for coming on the weekend show. I'm always, I'm much. always um, interested in having these conversations with you because you always open up another angle for us to um, view the AI systems from. Thank you so much for coming on the weekend show. Thank we so hope much. to see more of you on subsequent episodes. Awesome. Thank you. But well, there you have it, Mr. Light Ihesilo of Lognetics Limited. Also be sure to put it down in your schedule to attend the Explore event that's coming up on the 30th of November here in Abuja. Well, it's a wrap on the Entrepreneur Spotlight on the weekend show, but stay tuned. We still have many more segments coming up right after the short break. I'm Tender Chumelu. Do have a great weekend.